The Party is the kind of episode that I'm surprised had not really been done in Peep Show before this point. It's almost a reunion episode of sorts that brings together a huge assortment of both old and new characters, and not only does this allow for a lot of interesting interactions to happen and funny situations to arise, but it also makes the party actually feel realistic, something which I don't think was really achieved with some of the previous parties and gatherings in the show. There are so many great little details to pick up in the party sequence that rewatching it almost feels like a Peep Show sightseeing tour. Hey, there's Lisa from JLB, and there's Pete Preston from The Executioner's Bong. That's a bunch of extras that were previously background characters at JLB. And hey, Mark's iPod just played Ocean Drive, the song that was playing in his very first scene in the entire show. Plus, almost every still recurring character in the show at this point makes an appearance, even ones that we haven't seen in a while, like Ian and Sarah, and it just feels nice, you know? It's obvious that the party sequence itself is where most of the effort was put in while creating the episode, as it completely dominates the episode in a way that no other event has done in the show but it's fully deserved in my opinion. Like, you can tell that the writers just wanted to rush straight to the party with as little time spent elsewhere as possible, given how abrupt and clunky the setup is, but it doesn't bother me at all. I'm not sat here thinking, damn, I wish we could have seen the full process of Mark making all those lasagnas. But yeah, aside from the whole novelty of it, the actual events of the party are mostly okay, though nothing too groundbreaking really. We get the Mark wanting sex and failing, and Jen's getting sex and not being into it thing that's been played out numerous times in the show by this point. I mean, is fine, I guess, as it both reiterates Mark's failings with Dobby and reintroduces Sarah and Jez's relationship, but it doesn't feel very original anymore. I do like the Corrigans and Chapmans arguing, as it sets a great tone for the party. Mark tried to micromanage every aspect of the party and control everything meticulously, yet the one thing he couldn't anticipate was his failed wedding finding yet another way to mess up his life. He'll put more effort into making lasagna than he did into his actual relationship with his then fiance. It's both equal parts hilarious and sad, but I enjoy the way that these repercussions do seem to be strengthening him up as a character. 